Yo Ora St. Paul's Youth, Alex here. This week I found myself rereading parts of this book called Huya Come Home, and I was reminded of a part in the book that talks about how the Maori and the Hebrew way of seeing the future are very similar to each other, but different than the Western lens we often put on. You see, the Western worldview tends to look at the future by facing forward, to see where we're going. But the Maori and the Hebrew way of moving into the future is like walking backwards. You're still moving forward, but instead of facing where you're going to go, our focus is placed on the places we've been. We're looking back into the past. There's a Maori proverb that says, Tituru whakamui haira whakamua, which <laughs> I probably butchered that, but I'm trying. But what it means is look to the past, move forward to the future, or we walk into the future backwards. Now, there's many reasons why this is an uh, important idea for us to, to focus on the first Maori story of the land, or even how we look into our own fucking papa. But I also think it's a beautiful way for us to engage with the future. With our backs moving into an unknown future, our focus is then placed on the faithfulness of God in our past. I think it's easy to say that 2020 has been a year full of uncertainties and unknowns. And if you've been like me, I have felt overwhelmed by what the rest of the unknown future of 2020 looks like. And so what I challenge you to do this week is actually practice something I've been doing. Write down how God was faithful in your last lockdown experience. Maybe it could be a way that he made himself known to you or a time you felt he was present, or it could be something he was saying to you during lockdown. That way, if you ever feel overwhelmed with the unknown future, all you have to do is look to see what you wrote down, to see how God was faithful in your past, as a way for us to engage with the unknown future.